got a little change in scenery today. Of course, my longtime subscribers, thank you, by the way. You guys have seen my back patio here before. Uh, but I was just jamming on acoustic earlier, and I thought, you know, there are some there are some core reasons why I feel like playing acoustic guitar from time to time can make you not only a better metal guitar player, but just a better guitarist in general and a, and a better musician in general. And I want to share those reasons why with you today. Now, some of these may or may not be applicable to you, but I do hope that at least one of these reasons I'm going to share uh, will help you get over that hump. Sometimes we hit that wall on our playing, and, and sometimes picking up something like an acoustic can help you get over that, even if you're a metal guitar player primarily. Uh, but I hope that it will help you and, and maybe help you just open up some more creative pathways uh, in your own playing. Reason number one, you, you can just really just hammer down on the basics and then expand on those as well on acoustic. the four magic chords that most every hit song is made with. <laughs> you got that minor and the three majors in there. There's just so much you can do, and you can kind of take it beyond just the regular chords, your G, D, C, uh, or the, the E minor progression I played it, or you can take it beyond that and do stuff like what I just did. And I mean, that right there could be like the intro into some cool metal tune or ballad or whatever. Uh, but again, just taking it back to the acoustic, uh, there's just, it's just a, there's a basic fundamental um, feeling that you get with that. You kind of become in tune, no pun intended, with the instrument itself, with the guitar, not just electric guitar, not just metal guitar, but with just guitar in general. I don't know if any of this makes sense to you. I think that it does. I hope that it does. Uh, leave me comments if it does or if it doesn't, or hey, you may agree or disagree, and that's fine too. But let's go on to reason number two, why I feel like playing acoustic guitar from time to time is really going to help you advance in your own playing. Uh, so kind of similar to what we just talked about, you know, acoustic kind of being that basic, that fundamental, uh, you know, the core of guitar, right? So the other thing is when you're playing metal guitar, you know, we tend to hang on those power chords and the riffs within those chords, right? Okay, and again, I'm just making up stuff here, but we're playing these power chords, right, uh, in metal music. Rarely do we ever branch out and play regular chords, open chords, okay? So when you're playing acoustic, sure, you may practice stuff like what I just did there. And please don't ask for tabs because I have no clue what I just played. I'd have to go back and study it, you know. But anyway, we, rarely do we play the full chords. So if, if you're not integrating stuff like a regular C, a D, G, an F, an E minor, an A minor, an A minor the cool way I play it. The A string is open, then you've got frets 7, 5, open, open. Beautiful chord there. But when we're playing metal all the time, right, and it's okay that you primarily play metal, I'm not speaking against that. You guys know I love metal, that's, uh, that's my heart and soul, right? just like a lot of you. But when you're playing that all the time, you tend not to play some of just the basic regular chords. sounded like Cyndi Lauper's Time After Time. That could be a rendition. 
I'm gonna work on that later, by the way, and do it for one of my acoustic gigs. Uh, but anyway, so you see where I'm going with this. When you step too far away from the basics, just playing regular chords, for example, when you go to play them, it might be embarrassing that you, you don't know how or you're having trouble because you're constantly playing the... That's great, that's cool, I mean, it's awesome, but don't neglect the basics though, right? Don't stray so far away from never playing things like regular chords that you have a hard time playing them if somebody says, hey, play me a G. You could write a country song with that, just that one chord. One of the cool things about practicing on acoustic is you can kind of mix some of those metal riffs in with like just regular chords. So let's just play an E minor, for example. just messing around on acoustic like that it's going to kind of come naturally to throw in some of those regular chords and that may open up some ideas in your music because when we're playing metal a lot of times all you hear is just power chords and riffs which again that's great nothing wrong with that but what if you threw in a c or d or a full chord every now and then your music would sound much different than anything else out there and that's not a bad thing. That's actually a real cool thing. Reason number, and guys, I totally forgot what reason I'm on, so we're just gonna go to reason number next here. <laughs> Practicing on uh, an acoustic guitar, that will naturally make playing electric a lot easier. And you guys already know this, you guys who have been playing uh, guitar for a while. You know, if you pick up the acoustic and, and try to run through some kind of riff, <laughs> played something like that on acoustic, and again, I don't know what I just played because I just made it up. Um, if you play something like that on acoustic and then go replicate that on electric, it's going to feel a lot easier. Even even practicing things like if, if you get into uh, some solos, you know. Okay, stuff like that, or if you want to practice your sweeps. Okay, anything like that, uh, and I'm not saying practice all the time on acoustic, but every now and then, let's say just once a week, you practice some of that stuff, even your metal riffs, okay? Practice that on acoustic and then go over to electric and you're just going to be flying all over the place. The last tip I want to share with you, and guys, I don't know how many tips I've given you so far, so this is just the final one, but of course hang around to the end because I've got some cool stuff I want to chat with you about and I actually need your help with something, so uh, after this tip we'll go over that. Anyway, so the last uh, reason that I want you guys to consider playing acoustic from time to time is Try writing on acoustic. Again, even if your primary, I know a lot of you watching this, you're metal guitar players, but even if that's all you care to uh, play and to write, try every now and then writing uh, songs on acoustic, you know, using just regular chords or maybe a variation of those chords. I think I played something like this earlier. That's in the key of C sharp minor, and I actually sing a lot in that key. That and F sharp minor just fits my voice, uh, which right now my voice is horrible because I kind of lost it over the weekend. Uh, but anyway, so try writing on acoustic. You can always translate what you're playing uh, to electric. So take that for example, okay? be a metal song right there or maybe you want to keep that as an intro you know to the song before you get to the metal maybe when you decide to record the song you're like you know what I like that acoustic intro a lot better or maybe I put that acoustic uh, part in the bridge of the song 
or something like that. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you just write the song on acoustic and then you translate it over to electric. It's like, okay, well, that was cool. It just opens up some more creative pathways as opposed to just playing metal on your electric all the time. And again, you may still play metal 90% of the time, but I just encourage you maybe uh, about once a week to you know, break out the acoustic. If you don't have one, uh, you can get a, a decent acoustic guitar pre-owned for like three or 400 bucks. You can get a really, actually this is a Takamine G series and uh, I bought this from a friend of mine many years ago for 300 bucks. I played this guitar, you guys know I do acoustic gigs now practically every weekend. I'm actually taking this upcoming weekend off because my voice <laughs> stopped working. It actually stopped working in the middle of a gig this past Saturday night and uh, fortunately I have a looper that I use and I ended up playing a lot of instrumental stuff which the crowd loved so I was very fortunate, but anyway, I just encourage you guys to, uh, even if one of these tips I gave you helps you kind of get over that hump, get past that wall, or if it just helps you, uh, it gives you some new ideas, I, I hope at least one of these tips helps do that. And uh, hey, I hope you enjoyed the video, but guys, I need your help with something. We're gonna chat a little bit more, so hang around. Uh, gotta go grab something, so come with me. Now, as I was grilling chicken for my lunch, my wife was in here cooking some Thai food. This is called Gapao Gai in Thai, and I'll have this with cow, which is rice. So the chicken I cooked, that's for lunch, and Gapao Gai, that's for dinner later on. All right, guys, lunch is served. We got a nice big grilled chicken breast there with a sweet potato, very nutritious, very healthy. Uh, also, you see a heaping serving of yellow mustard, just regular mustard, nothing fancy. That's my trick to eating chicken as much as I do. Uh, no matter how you marinate chicken, it just kind of gets old if you eat it day in and day out. So with mustard, it never gets old for me. I love mustard. I can eat it all the time on almost anything. This video is not about the diet. Um, yes, I kind of, my voice kind of sounds like crud right now. So this happens about once a year to me every year. It doesn't matter how many vitamins I take or how healthy I eat. Once a year, uh, you know, I live in Florida here, it's very hot then all of a sudden it turns really cold well cold for us floridians like you know 30 degrees is cold for us all right so when you've got hot one day you're in shorts and then all of a sudden like you've got the heater on so it kind of messes up your system a little bit and again yeah you guys know i eat healthy i pump myself full of vitamins i think the saving grace is because i do all the healthy stuff you know 85 90 percent of the time uh, when I get like a head cold like I've got right now, it doesn't last very long and it's not as extreme. Most people that catch this stuff, it lasts for weeks and they never get rid of it. I'm already getting better. Again, I'm just now getting my voice back. But yeah, so I was, uh, I'm going somewhere with this. This past weekend I had a gig and I was already kind of feeling that head cold come on and man, my voice gave out like right up front. I'm like, Oh man, this sucks. So fortunately, I have a looper. I've been I've been looping quite a bit over the past six months, and of course, I'll, I'll loop a rhythm and then I'll play some leads over the top of that. And you guys have seen a lot of that in my prior videos because I've been sharing my live uh, experiences with you, my live shows with you. So that worked out quite well. I just picked the real easy songs that weren't high at all, and I could pull those off. Uh, I couldn't pull anything that was getting up there. I couldn't pull that off at all, man. My voice is just crap. So I'm like, guys, I'm sorry, but you're going to hear a lot of instrumentals tonight. My voice is shot, you know. The crowd actually liked it, though. The crowd actually liked it a lot. I got so many compliments. Um, you know, a lot of people were coming up to me saying, man, that was something different than what we're used to hearing, and we really enjoyed it. So uh, it was just refreshing. So I just kind of want to share that uh, bit with you. I am going to make a video, my whole point in sharing that with you was, well, just to share my life with you guys, you know, uh, you know, we're like family and all, but I do want to make another video on 
uh, some of the benefits of learning to loop if you're playing live. I've been encouraging you guys to play live, even if you're even if you're just a, a hobbyist, you know, on guitar, or if you just play in your bedroom in your studio. I really want to encourage you to get out there and play in front of people. And actually, I'm hosting an open mic tonight. I'm filling in for a buddy of mine who had another conflict. So I'm hosting an open mic at Bootleggers Brewing here in Tampa. So obviously, if you guys are in the area, come out. But I want you to start there. Start with an open mic. Find an open mic in your area if you're not playing out already. And just go do it, man. It doesn't matter really what it sounds like because that's what open mic is all about. Just get out there and do it. And this kind of gets you used to playing in front of people. It helps you overcome that fear, you know, to, to get out there and, and just play and sing, man. It can be a cover song. It can be something you wrote. Maybe it's just a verse in the chorus that you just do that over and over a couple times. Just get up there and do it. I think you'll feel really good about yourself uh, if you do that. So I will make another video on the looping aspect because I want to get a little bit deeper into that on my, on my channel here. Of course, I'm going to be putting some metal guitar stuff out as well. Uh, but back to the acoustic. I know we got way off topic here. And I better eat because my food's going to get cold. I don't like cold food. There's something magical about playing acoustic to me. Um, you know, for all the reasons that I shared with you in this video, there's just something really cool about it. I used to be, I used to be one of those guitar players who are like, well, I just play metal and that's all I want to play. I, I was that person, and you may or may not be that person, and it doesn't mean that it's wrong or right. Whatever is right for you at that time is right. But, however, I encourage you, maybe don't stay there. Keep evolving as not only a metal guitar player, not only as a guitar player, but also as a musician. Keep evolving, allow yourself to evolve. And I, I've gone back to playing acoustic probably as much as I play electric these days. Again, that's partly because I'm playing out every weekend almost, so I'm constantly playing acoustic you know, all the time. Of course, I'm playing electric too. I'm writing metal music. You guys know I'm working on an album. I'm a little bit behind on that. I'm not, <laughs> I've been working on it. I've been, you know, the, the recording process is going quite well, but I'm a bit further behind than I'd like to admit. So I am promise I'm getting on that. Uh, but anyway, I just want to encourage you guys to just allow yourself to branch out. Give yourself that room. Give yourself that freedom uh, to branch out a bit. So guys, I'm going to finish my uh, lunch here. And then I'm going to get upstairs and edit this video so I can get it out for you today. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I hope you like these little chats. Sometimes I go on little rabbit trails uh, when we're talking like this. The video might be about one thing and then we might chat about something completely different <laughs> at the end. Uh, but I try to circle it back around, you know, to the point that I wanted to make with the video. Uh, but hope you guys enjoy this. It's kind of like we're hanging out at my pool here eating some grilled chicken together. Although, I only have enough for me, so sorry. <laughs> hey, you bring the beer next time. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please give this a thumbs up if it helped you, and leave any comments that you have. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, and I will see you on the next video, which will more than likely be a metal guitar video, so stay tuned for that. Until then, keep it metal.